morning, all of you. Uh, I would like to say thank you to CASMB as well as AFSTI and uh, California's Export Council to give me an, give me an opportunity to speak uh, in front of a uh, lot of dignitaries, a lot of expertise. My good friend Raj is there and as well as Mr. Kamle, uh, Lele sir is there and of Rajendra is there where whom we are working very lot closely. Uh, so this is uh, about Mithai and Namkins. This is the most un, uh, you can say, when you came in name, when you came the name of the Mithai and Namkin, this is obviously uh, taken into account that this is made 99% of the products which are the unorganized sector and only 1% are the players into organized sector. So uh, it actually, I'll start the presentation with something else. Let's go to the first slide. So we are using three products from California Export Council. One of them is cranberries, one of them is blueberries, and other one is almonds. We do use uh, pistachio, we do use fig, but fig is right now sourced from Afghanistan. As Tom has clear mentioned that this is one of the area where uh, we would like to work with Californian Council. And the most problem of why we use these fruits to give a international tone to the product which are Indianized or Indian origin products where the products are to be used at very low moisture. The product itself is a very hygroscopic product. It is made using a manual process. But when you add this product, this product is nothing but Swan Papri. We all know this product for a gifting item. It just changed the hand from one other to other, but it is never eaten. Am I right, Raj? This is, this is the product which is uh, normally given as a gifting item. This is never tested, never eaten as a product. We wanted to change this concept from a gifting item to an eating item, where we wanted to give the consumer uh, international flavors like blueberry, cranberry, which was never tried. I don't think there is anyone in, the, in the India who's making a cranberry or blueberry sown property. Next. So why, what is the blueberry? Because this is what I had taken out. Uh, Tom, you can correct me if I am written something wrong in here. So this is blueberry are a juicy fruit grown in North America. This is cultivated in flooded water before it condensed. That's why it has a maximum water content. If for use in Mithai industry, they had to be dehydrated to our sugar or sugar coating. We use wild sweetened blueberries sourced from California or it comes from Chile. Uh, this is one of the ex exporting country which uh, sells the chili blueberries. Uh, we are using wild sweetened because they are small. They have a natural flavor and it is not much uh, sour in nature. It's a mix of sour and sweet products. The moisture of Mithai with dried blueberries ranges from 2% to 15%. And as Tom has rightly said, moisture is a uh, is a basically a culprit to damage the product, especially in case of Son Papadi, which itself has a 1% moisture. So when you're adding this fruit into this product, it has to be very carefully chosen and added because of that. Next, what are the dried, why, why we thought of adding dried blueberries? Because of advantages, it gives a natural blue color and a blue tinge to the product, which we expected to give to the consumer. Secondly, it's had a natural tart test provide plus a sugar sweet and sour uh, tasting which is to be given. Second, sugar which is used for coating of the blueberry helps in retaining the preservation of the mithai because this is where preservation has to be attained. What are the disadvantages? The moisture is, uh, may vary based on the sources. If it is coming from Chile, California, it is coming from there. Uh, Tom, just to tell you that I have, we are also working with somebody who is growing blueberries in India. So there are people who are growing blueberries in India because the most first part is the blueberries which are sourced are coming with a range of 2,000 rupees a kg to 1,500 rupees a kg. So there's a vast difference between the cost. And that's why we are trying to develop which is product. And this is, an act, this is when you add blueberries into the product, it actually adds an optimum step, which is very crucial where to add these blueberries into the product. Next. Where 
Where we are going, it's, I think it is. Oh, sorry. Oh, other. Can it close? Yeah, I think it has gone into. Yeah, sorry. So, this is about dried cranberries. Cranberries are juicy fruit, similar to that which is sourced from California. Moisture of the mithai is also consistently da damaging the product, which is about 2 to 15 percent. We are using diced cranberries, which are sweetened. So, this gives you a color of cranberry, color it takes out of the cranberry, and it once you bite the product, once you eat the product of Son Papri, you will have the bites of the food product pro coupled with the flavor which is added into that. So, this gives you a mouth feel, a rich mouth feel, as well as it gives you a rich texture, taste, and everything. So these are again the same uh, impact which is happening for the product where the product gives you a bright color. It gives you a tangy taste of the cranberries and as cranberries is known for helping uh, uh, a lot of diseases which are basically are uh, related to the, uh, for the health of the people as well as this sugar which is used for coating the cranberries are used helpful in improving the shelf life of the product. I'll just go there. Then this is almond. As rightly said, almonds are uh, being used in India for almost all the uh, many major products. One of the two aspects of almond use is namkeen, where it is used as a roasted product for a, for a bite as well as this. We use this into a product called as uh, keto chivda. Uh, you may not heard of this product, but this is a keto mixture of all the seeds, including almonds. And that is uh, a keto product, which is for the now there are uh, vegan, there are keto products are being coming into market. So this is one of the keto chivda which we are manufacturing. Whole almonds are the process. And this is where I would like to add attention of this, because when the son papri is being made, we all know that the son papri will have on the topping pistachio and the almonds chips, which are added. What we used to do is when we started manufacturing uh, son papri, we used to get our own almonds, so, uh, soak it in the night, uh, take out the water, roast it, slice it, and then use it in the product. By doing it, we were actually impacting the product shelf life, which was coming hardly two to three months. But when we uh, work with our own supplier, there is a supplier in Y, which is Avishkar Foods, so which are, they are sourcing Californian almonds. They have a state-to-art facility, which is for roasting and slicing on the product, which gives us a product shelf life, which is about nine months to one year. So this is one product which we are, why we worked with the, our uh, third party to manufacture a slice, al almond slices or pistachio slices. Second one is, uh, India is not known for having almond uh, marzipan, but similar marzipan we are using it, which is called as kaju, kaju katli. Because cashew marzipan is nothing but kaju, kaju katli, and almond marzipan is almond katli. So these are the almond, what it gives. The almond gives you a texture, an aesthetic richness in the sweets, because when you bite a sweet, you should have that bite of the almond or a pistachio. It also adds to the color in case of pistachio if it is added. And we had to use in slice form or either as a paste form to make the product. Uh, my, our three products are being here showcased here. You can do the sensory, you can eat the product. So there are there is a combination of burfis which you have made. One is mango, pistachio and almond. So both of these combination is here for you to test. What are the disadvantages of the using almonds? Because normally when the almond is there, if there is a moisture which is remaining, it will add into the microbial growth of the product. And that's why it imparts the health or the shelf life of the product. But we are able to do it by roasting the product, roasting the slices, and then using it. So these are the uh, products what we have developed till now. One is blueberry, uh, which you can see on the left hand side top portion. Uh, right hand side top portion is cranberry son papri. We have a lot of burfis which are made using the almonds. Then we have a pistachio and kaju roll, which is also an almond roll inside. And the downside is a very delicate product which we every Indian love. And we have recently launched this product, which is called as gajar alwa. This gajar alwa is in the retort form. It has a shelf life of four months, and it has a topping of the almonds and pistachio. 
these are the additional products what we make which is badam diamond then badam katli pista barfi and moog dal halwa so these products are also using lot of almonds lot of pistachios to give out to the giving the decoration of the part which will add on to the product bite then again i will just put on some light on son papdi the uh, everyone maybe few of the all people indian who are knowing it how to make son papdi is made it's still made with the hands it has to stretch the product which is a dough of the sugar and uh, maida to be taken together and stretched together till it forms the threads so what happens actually when you are working on to the manual mode you obviously are going to have some microbial contamination but we have taken care that we are using a map technology for this where the shelf life of the product can go up to 9 months to 12 months <coughs> chitale bandhu we are known for our automation few of the members who are present here has seen our factories we are manufacturing kaju katli without touching the man or touching the hands using any manual intervention the product is crushed into a cooking system and then extruded using a state to art machinery from germany and then we are packing it into an mep technology as of now shelf life of our kaju katli is about 90 days i don't think anybody in the india is selling the product kaju katli with a room temperature storage with 90 days of shelf life this is happening just because we are gone for the automation and we are uh, using a map technology so what are the impacts of fruits and dry fruits on mithai what normally is considered into a mithai fruits and fruit pieces have some amount of moisture hence preference is given to sweetened fruit pieces in case because it gives also a sweetness to the product and especially for cranberry and blueberry and which has got higher shelf life because what when we started buying blueberries from us we understood that the shelf life is about 18 months provided we keep it into a chiller or cold storage so we wanted to avoid and i think uh, rajendra was helpful in uh, giving us the supplies for cranberries and blueberries as well as i think kind of food is also here so they were able to give us a good shelf life product which is coated with sunflower oil and sugar so that has given us advantage of making the product dry fruits and what we when we say dry fruits in india is dry fruit is basically pistachio and almond and cashew so when we uh, when we use them it has given a basically a fungal growth is a basic problem of the complaints what we are receiving from the market so we have to roast it using a roaster or getting a roasted product from outside which will help us food pieces especially in son papdi was a tough because son papdi itself is made at the processing area where there is a humidity has to be controlled about 65% otherwise this product will gone bad the moment it is made so this is very hygroscopic and can harden in case of a moisture content and that's why it is important to have a product or the berries which are used are having very good um, low moisture as per as possible and as well as then we can use it so what are the process improvement what we have done like sweets and snack industry is known for lot of manual intervention lot of uh, illegal activities have been done one of the few of the members of the unity where they add color they have a lot of mindset which is there in the people's mind that these mithais are used using color they are not processed in a very hygienic conditions so we attend to eat it as a fresh as far as possible we wanted to change that particular low shelf life concept of a mithai into a very good shelf life product like 90 days 6 months for one year where we have used the adapted the use of cooking equipment which are not even thought of by any uh, mithai manufacturers till now so to avoid hand touch the moment we have a lot of hand touch lot of manual intervention you are going to have a lot of uh, yeast and mold contamination into the product which will impact the shelf life as well as uh, look up the customer the customer expect the product to be a very good looking good texture good taste wise so it will if he sees any mang any mold growth he will not able to eat the product lot of use of milk solid is one of the key structure in making mithais lot of khawas or mawas are used in this however due to manual cooking method we are not able to remove this particular temperature we, we are not able to take it to a particular temperature with a pro product is actually the temperature is killing the particular microbial contamination to a minimum level so these are the products what we have made 
so uh, maybe our design team has also worked into the shades of the carton so if you can see the cranberry has a carton shade also of a cranberry the product is also downside you can leak the color is also batch to what cranberry should look like the blueberry is also very bluish in the nature it has got a blue cranberry which you can see it in the top plus we have almonds and pistachios which are sprinkled on the top as a decoration purpose then we have badam barfi and pista barfi where this is the badam barfi what i am showing is actually a combo of mango pista and badam because we thought people should taste the three products at a time because these three fruits mango is a very natural uh, indian fruit we call it we everybody everybody loves mango as a product or as a fruit so we have combined this product and the next one is pista barfi where these all are manufactured using a cooking equipment a state to art extrusion machines and then packing with the mop the last the last slide is things need to be changed they don't get changed themselves thank you